solving abilities. Now, these behaviors help keep our whales active and engaged. Seawood killer whales have inspired generations to care about our natural world. And we're excited to share their story with all of you here today. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use cooperation and communication, not just size and strength, to take their place at the top of the ocean's cliff. At the bottom are small animals, like krill. At the top, the apex predator, the killer whale. Killer whales are as big as a bus. Than an Olympic swimmer. High climb and power build. We'll see all of that today and more. These and other behaviors provide an environment full of enrichment. We spend days, weeks, months, and years building relationships with our whales. This creates trust. That allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you present your arm to draw blood or step on the scale to see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Throughout today's experience, you'll see our whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors allow them to strengthen their social bonds and problem solve support. This is just one of the many adaptations that makes the killer whale the top predator of the ocean. Their scientific name is Orsinus orga. They're more commonly known as killer whales. And here at SeaWorld, all five members of our pod have their own individual names and identities. The first is Katina, our matriarch and leader at 43 years old. Next, we have our two females, Nalani and Malia. And last but not least, our two males, Trua and Makayo, who will be meeting here in just a moment. Now, the whales trust us and they take an active role in their own health and well-being. Now, one of the first behaviors that we'll train our whales for, something that you're all trained for as well, health care or husbandry behaviors. So think about when you go to the doctor and your doctor asks you for a blood sample. You know to hold out your arm, and your doctor will take that blood sample from the inside of your elbow. Well, killer whales don't have elbows like you and I do. So we had to get a little bit creative. Now both Megan and Stacy are asking Truett and Makayo to flip over onto their backs and present us with the underside of their tail flukes. Now there's a wing that runs along the inside of each lobe of their tail flukes. And that's exactly where we've been able to take that blood sample from. Now not only is this so important for the health and well-being of our killer whales, but we can also share this information with scientists and researchers that are studying killer whales out in the ocean. And you'll notice too that Stacy and Megan are giving Trua and Mikhail nice big tail rubs. Now they have very sensitive skin, so not only is this a great way for us to get a good look at their entire bodies, but it's an awesome way for us to build our relationships with them as well. Now another important diagnostic tool, not only are those blood samples, but something you are trained to do as well. You know to stand on a scale, right? You see exactly how much you weigh. Well, we have a killer whale side scare here at SeaWorld in one of our adjacent pools. Now our killer whales are trained to slide their entire bodies up and out of the water, and we're simulating that for you here in our slide out. But take a look at Shua and Makayo. And from their dorsal fin all the way down to their tail flukes is a very powerful muscle called their peduncle. This is what's going to help propel them through the water and it can weigh several hundred pounds. Now by keeping their tails in the water, we would be missing out on all of that weight. So we can ask them to hold their entire bodies up and out of the water. And just like this, this is exactly how Shura and Makayo would be able to accurately weigh themselves. Now, over the course of our presentation today, you may see our killer whales doing this behavior. Know that it is one of the most critical passenger behaviors and one of the first things that we train them to do. Now, we weigh our younger whales to make sure they're growing properly and our older whales to make sure they're maintaining a healthy weight. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt. For the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Well, hi everyone. I am joined by my new friend Rachel. She is all the way from.
from Ireland. Hey Rachel, do you like to play? Yeah? So do I. Now observational learning and mimicry play an important role in the killer whale's lives. Now from the moment they're born, they'll learn by watching their mothers and they follow the leader with other whales. Do you want to play follow the leader with my friend Makayo today? Yeah. Go ahead and take two hands high over head and wave hello. When you stomp your feet, he'll stomp his tail flukes. When you wave your hand, he'll wave his pectoral flippers. Go ahead and give him a fish. Great job. Well, killer whales are curious animals, too. They've often been seen jumping out of the water to get a better look at their surroundings, spot their prey, or even play. So do you remember that hand signal we taught you? Excellent! Now, Makai was off to do that sighting now. He's going to do a big jump in stage and for my audience behind us. When you see Makaya do that jump, we're going to give her a round of applause. Alright, me, well that sounds like a lot of fun, but over here I have Johnny from New Orleans and we're going to introduce a uh, true one. Now, the cool thing about this is that that was a cute little bow, right? We're going to show off how the animals like the real life to announce their presence. That's by doing a breach. But first, Johnny, I want to show you ahead and reinforce true one and say hi to him.
obvious why they're the top predator in the ocean. That means killer whales are invincible, right? Together, we've got this. 